Let's get started. Unit 57. That. That means when. So this when doesn't mean 언제. It's not that. It means when I was younger, when I was a student, when I was 20, when I study, I do something. So in this case, it's used. All right. Please memorize 때, 엘 때, 을 때. First of all, um, this also starts with L. That means we have irregulars, right? Mm -hmm. Which ones are irregulars? L. Some words that end with L, that has bottom letter L, right? So what do we do now when we conjugate them? What do we have to get rid of? Oh. Mm -mm. We have to get rid of 을 part, right? So when the grammar starts oh. with L, then we have been getting rid of 을 or 을 stuff, right? Okay, that's that. Let's get started. So, well, basically, what correct is in this grammar, the first one, with nouns, should be 일 때. 일 때. For example, when I was a student, 학생 is a student, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want to say like, to be a student, 학생이다. 학생이다. And if you want to say, I'm a student, 학생이다. 다 is taken, 학생이에요. So what basic grammar for this is 학생이다. And we want to add 엘 때. So if you want to say, when I was a student, 학생이다, take out 다, the L goes to the bottom. And then add 때. So 학생일 때. When I am a student, present tense, right? Yes. How about we make it past tense? Let's get started from this. I was a student. Do you remember how to say that? Mm -hmm. So I was a student. We studied 어따. So 학생이었다. 학생이었어요. I was a student 20 years ago. 학생이었어요. Right? But when we want to say when I was a student, so with 에, when, 학생이다, 학생이었다. And then we want to add 엘 때. Then how does it change? 학생이었을 때. 이었을 때. 음, 학생이었을 때. I was good at it when I was a student. 학생이었을 때 잘했어요. 이었을 때. 음. That is the correct one, but I wrote just 때. Because as you can see now, both of us, it's hard to explain, hard to understand, right? So I would just say like, 때, with a noun. So when I was 20, how do you say? Uh, oh, right, that's what I just explained. But like I said, I didn't write L 때, right? I wrote just 때. So let's say when I was 20, 스무 살 때. 스무 살 때. Do you understand? 스무 살 때. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So how do you say when I was a student? 학생이 
No, don't use it. I just said don't use 이었을 때 있을 때, right? Just mm -hmm. use 때. 학생인데. Right. How about when I was a middle school student? Right. How about when I was a university student? Right. 대학생 때. So just add 때 with a noun. 학생 때, 스무 살 때, 대학생 때, 고등학생 때. So when I was a student, right? All right, then let's make a sentence. When I was a student, I was good at it. Perfect. 제가 학생 때 잘했어요. 뭘 저는 학생 때 잘했어요. You can use both. All right. So I'm showing you something, and then you saw that, and then you're saying it to me, like you're saying something to me, like I did that when I was twenty. Right. And if you want to talk about experiences, I have done it when I was 20. Good. I have done it. I have that experience doing that thing. I have done it when I was 20. Do you get it? So use the when you want to use a noun and say when I'm something, when I was something. Okay? All right, how about this? Let's use bottom L, 때. So you can use adjectives or verbs. For example, 아프다, sick, hurt, right? So when I am sick, Right. How about when when I go? Think about it. Right. So what we have to memorize here is that L is used for no bottom words. No bottom words, right? Uh, How about this? When I meet. Good. How about when she's... Mm, when she does. Right. So for no bottom words, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make sentences with them. What's the word for hungry? Hungry. 배고파다. 배고프다. 배고프다. All right, then how do we say when I am hungry? 배고플 때. Good. So how do we say when I eat, when I am hungry? I eat. Good. So that means I eat when I'm hungry, right? How about this? What's the word for need? Right? So how do you say when you need Buy it. Right. Do it, buy it was 세요. Remember? 세요. 세요. 사세요. 사세요. 
So how do you say? So how do you say buy it when you need it? That's right. 필요할 때 사세요. Okay. Last sentence. When are you happy? No, no, no. I'm asking you. When are you happy? When? Me? Mm -hmm. Please tell me when you are happy. Finish. Right. I feel good when I study Korean, right? How about the word happy? I'm happy when I study Korean. I'm happy. Good. 한국어를 공부할 때 행복해요. When are you angry? When are you unhappy? Also when you study Korean? <laughs> Think about when you are unhappy. <laughs> right, 배고플 때 화나요. I get angry when I am hungry. <laughs> Good. Are you hungry now? No. No. Okay. okay. Good. So that means you're happy now because you're studying Korean, huh? Nice. Yeah, so when the L te is used just like this. With no bottom letters, 공부하다. 공부할 때. When I'm sick, 아플 때. When I'm hungry, 배고플 때. Got it? All right, let's use 을 때 now. 을때 is used when there are bottom letters. For example, hmm, have. What's the word for have? 있다. 있다, right? So how do you say when I have? 있을 때. Perfect. So let's say when I have time, 시간이 있을 때. I will call you. I will call you. Nice. Say that again. When I have time, I will call you. Perfect. 시간이 있을 때 전화할게요. So, 시간이 있다, because 있다, we're using it. That's why you used E, that's correct. But for speaking, the E is skipped. Because 이따, 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 if you speak it fast, it sounds, the sounds goes away. So, 시간 있을 때 전화할게요. 시간 있을 때 전화할게요. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's annoying. Nah, not sometimes. It's it's some <laughs> it's annoying when people eat because they make sound, right? Well, that's because you know, we don't notice the sound. I mean, we do we Korean people. I mean, some people know that it's rude when you eat, you make sound, but some people don't. And there is a story that says like, you know, if you make sound while you're eating, that means it's delicious. So you eat, so someone who cooked that food is happy. I don't know if it's true, true or not, but there is. So why am I talking about this? That's because when you eat, don't make a sound. <laughs> I want to say that. So how do you say when you eat? Right. 
There is a bottom letter, 먹다, so we want to use 을 때. 먹을 때. 먹을 때, how do you say, don't make sound. Make sound is 소리를 내다. So we want to use don't grammar. 소리를 내다? Hmm? 어. 먹을 때 소리를 내지 마세요. Perfect. 먹을 때 소리를 내지 마세요. So, 을을 stuff are usually skipped when we speak. So, 먹을 때 소리 내지 마세요. Right? Or this sound, we say it, 쩝쩝. 쩝쩝. <laughs> 먹을 때 쩝쩝 소리 내지 마세요. 아, like that. Right. But be careful if you say this, your friends or your friend is a little angry <laughs> because it's a shame, right? <laughs> well, I learned it from my friend too. <laughs> So I never make sound anymore, but I used to. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was not educated. I don't know. Okay. So when there is a bottom letter, you want to use 을 때, 먹을 때, 있을 때. How about when you find it? 찾을 때. When you read it? When you when you take a picture, 사진을 찍을 때. Get 사진을 찍을 때. Right. So now let's practice with L bottom letters. L bottom letters 만들다. There is it finishes with L, right? 만들다. How do you say when I make? Perfect. What's the word for passport? Yogwan. Uh, 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 right? But this word, when you pronounce it in real, you should say it yogwan. Right. A little stronger than just. 권, 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 여권, 여권. Perfect. Then how do you say, when you make a passport, uh, you need a picture. Uh, need, no, 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 need. You need it. It doesn't mean, right? 필요해요. But remember, when you use 필요하다, use 이 or 가. 만들 때 사진이 필요해요. Good. 여권을 만들 때 사진이 필요해요. Say it again. You need a picture when you make a passport. 다시. <laughs> That's right. So that word ends with L, 만들다, and we just used 때 instead of 을 때. Okay? Last sentence. I lived I lived in LA when I lived in America. So let's say when I lived in America. Uh, in, say that again. Uh, yes. I lived in LA. Did you buy it? I lived. Right? Say that again. When I lived in America, 
I lived in LA. LA에서 살았어요. 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 Whole sentence. 살았어요. That's right. 미국에서 살때 LA에서 살았어요. So you can change it like when I lived in China, I lived in Shenzhen, for example, right? So this one is used with 때, 엘 때, 엔을 때. And here's one more challenge. Like think about this in English. When is not only used in a way like I do something or when I am something, right? It's also used like it's also used like when I want to go, I go. When I have to study, I do something. When I met my friend, when I am doing it, when I did it, so we can change that part using other grammar that we, ha we have studied, right? So let's just challenge one thing. No, two things. Let's just challenge two things. When I want to eat, when I want to eat, All right, here's the thing, Katie. Look. Whenever you want to conjugate grammar to grammar, think about infinitive. What's I want to eat? Infinitive. 먹고 싶다, right? And then you want to add 을 때, because there is a bottom letter in 십, right? So how do you say when I want to eat? Perfect. So let's make a sentence. When I want to eat, I have to eat. Perfect. So that means I have to eat when I want to eat, right? 먹고 싶을 때 먹어야 돼요. How about this? When I don't want to study, I drink coffee. There is a bottom letter 실, right? 싫을 때. So say that again. When I don't want to study, 공부하기 싫을 때. I drink coffee. 커피 마셔요. That's right. I drink coffee, right? When I don't want to study, I drink coffee. I drink coffee when I don't want to study. Same, same. So, if this day is too easy to use, then make your own sentences with other grammar. Try to challenge yourself and make more difficult sentences and longer sentences, even though you don't have to. For example, if you ask me a question like, what do you like to do? Some people just say, uh, uh, I like to play the game, but that's just too short and it's not a challenge, right? But if I was asked when I study another language, I would say like, mm, when I am bored, I like to meet my friends and drink coffee in a cafe or I like to play golf when I have time. Something like this. You can make long sentences, right? It's the same question. But some people just say, I like playing games. That's not helpful for studying a foreign language, right? All right, so unit 57 
is finished. Do you have any questions? No. All right, then I will see you next time. Bye. Hmm.